Hi, family of God. This is Believers Global TV. I'd like you to cry from the depth of your heart. Father, give me an encounter tonight. Give me an encounter tonight. Not tomorrow, not next week. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Shebaka paradosh kalibrande barasko vadi balasiata. Someone full of faith is praying. Give me an encounter tonight. Shalasko brande kabarasiata. Those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. When I begin to minister, for those who would come out, I will ask you. But please lay your hands. I want to pray right now. My God, there's such... All I'm just seeing is... I'm just seeing smoke. Just inside and outside. That smoke of His presence. Shout a loud Amen in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every infirmity, every spirit that is back of any sickness in the name that is above all names, I command that spirit to live now in Jesus name. Right now I decree and declare inside, outside, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Blood conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Eye conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Organ failures. Be restored in the name of Jesus. The power of God is touching so many people in the name of Jesus. There's someone suffering from muzzle pull. Muzzle pull like, like what footballers or athletes have. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is healing you now. Someone, your right ears, you don't hear with it. It is opening right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. there's someone you are following from national hospital national hospital i'm seeing you on the bed in the name of jesus the power of god is touching you right now supernaturally in the mighty name of jesus christ the lord is healing someone there is a lump on your left breast as i'm praying right now you are feeling a a, a sensation of heat that devil leaves you right now in the name of jesus there's someone your right leg is swollen in Jesus name be healed someone you're beginning to have projections on your throat looking like goiter but by the power of the Holy Spirit as I pray right now it dissolves and goes down now HIV be healed now I say it again HIV be healed now every kind of cancer be healed now terminal illnesses be healed now those who came on wheelchairs crutches and any kind of aid i declare life and power to your body begin to walk now begin to walk now be healed in the name of jesus christ eye conditions there's someone outside you could not see the screen very clearly but the power of god is coming upon you and in the name of jesus perfect vision for you in the name of jesus christ there's someone you are having like um i'm hearing gastritis in the name of jesus whatever that condition is be healed of it right now be healed of it right now you have a, a severe problem once you stand in the sun you begin to feel dizzy dizzy and then you can even fall the lord is healing you right now there's someone you came here your condition is that you have low blood pressure not high blood pressure low blood pressure 
in the name of Jesus whoever that person is be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit high blood pressure be healed now kidney problems be healed now frequent urination be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now pile be healed now I, I don't know my God there's someone I'm I'm seeing is like of course I'm not a doctor but I'm it's like I'm seeing inside your head and there is something like a boil not a boil but a growth a projection inside your head literally in the name of Jesus I don't know whether that has been verified medically or not but be healed right now there's someone you have a condition I don't know what that condition is but you bite your tongue or is it your mouth and you can injure yourself I don't know who that person is in the name of Jesus be healed the issue of blood is being healed right now very severe issue of blood is being healed right now there is a gentleman this is strange you are a gentleman also you are a gentleman not a lady but when you go to ease yourself sometimes you ease out blood that person the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ very severe pain around your chest heaviness around your chest in Jesus name be healed there is someone here you have a medical condition that cannot allow you have a child you have a medical condition you are a man you're unable to get your wife pregnant in the name of Jesus Christ you're going to feel like fire just like a sensation come through your body and in the name of Jesus the Lord is bringing you healing right now the Lord is bringing you healing right now the Lord is bringing you healing right now there's someone you could not move your left hand I'm I'm even feeling like like weight on my left hand the power of God is touching you right now begin to check it right now in the name of Jesus a very supernatural miracle has happened you came here and your one of your molars I don't know I think it was removed but a miracle is going to happen you are going to see a brand new teeth right there this is what the Lord is telling me in the name of Jesus I declared by the Spirit of grace by the power that raised Christ from the dead someone has um, like a growth a projection just this part of your neck this side in the name of Jesus as I'm praying for you right now the power of God is coming upon you and that demonic thing gives way now now whether I mention your case or not diabetes diabetes is being healed right now sugar diabetes is being healed right now there's someone who was brought here with stroke like half of you I don't know if you can walk or not but the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God whether I mention your case or not be healed in Jesus name 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 there is someone I'm seeing you are not in this country uh, it's not given to me to know what nation but I know you are outside this country you are holding your child your child is five years getting to six and has never spoken and the Lord is telling me to pray for that child in the name of Jesus I don't know what that nation is but I declare may the tongue of that child be loose now may the tongue of that child be loose now the Lord is showing me a woman this is an elderly woman should not be less than 55 years old this is a woman in the hospital in coma completely in fact it's almost as if she's gone in the name of Jesus we knock on the door of life and we declare that woman returns right now in the name of Jesus Christ 
in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone for a long time please don't be embarrassed you've suffered what we call mouth odor very pungent smell it's not an issue of lack of hygiene you have even gotten some mouthwash and all of that right now as I'm praying for you the power of God is touching you and that, that healing is happening right now in fact I'm seeing at least three or four people with this case I just mentioned no matter how you try to maintain your hygiene it looks like that embarrassment continues it's a demonic thing in the name of Jesus be delivered the Lord is showing me someone you went to bed and you had a dream and in that dream it had to do with death and from the time you woke up you have been sick till now it is the spirit of death in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare you are free from that demonic thing hallelujah now here's what we'll do I want to minister deliverance right now but for all those who are trusting God for healing I want you to check yourself right now the moment you check yourself and you find out that the power of God has touched you you could not do something I want you to do it right now inside and outside you could not work begin to work you could not see begin to see the moment you find out that a miracle has happened please be guided by the protocol or ushers and you make your way to come right here to the front either to my left or to my right and then we'll have we'll give you room for your testimony very quickly while that is happening I'd like you to please submit your prayer request you would see ushers by your left and right you may do well to pass your prayer request to the last person either by your left or right so that they would pass it ushers please make that snappy so that we can have the people submit their request and if you have passed any row and they are yet to submit please just lift it up and then an usher will be there to attend to you I want to minister deliverance now I believe in deliverance I really do upon Mount Zion the Bible declares that there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession it is no news that Satan is determined to thwart our destiny and he has an arsenal of demon spirits that continue to go around the lives and the destinies of God's people spying upon their liberty but the Bible says, how terrible are thou in your ways, Psalm 66 and verse 3. It says, through the greatness of thy power, thy enemies shall submit themselves to you. And so I want to pray right now and rebuke every spirit that is back of the tragic events across and around our lives. Are you ready now? When I pray then, uh, together with those who will be coming out, all those who are healed and are coming for testimonies, will now allow them to come. Let me pray. You know sometimes the way the Holy Spirit works is very strange I've not even started praying and I started hearing shouts and people running in the spirit this is what I started hearing bring them out that's not the only one you hear many like the healing power of Jesus just delivering people that's what I started hearing in my spirit and the Lord just asked me to allow that happen before I start speaking the supernatural works in a very strange way sometimes it, 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 these things how and why they happen I really do not know ours is just to flow with the Holy Spirit and do that which pleases him right so there will be many people right now who will start shouting under the anointing I want you to bring them out and then I will now start praying the power of God is already touching people thank you Lord Jesus whether inside outside all of those people by the spirit of grace let's have them out very quickly if the ushers are limited please PR or any other department do help them so that we'll, we'll make this fast and we we'll make this snappy in the name of Jesus Christ bring them out you are the covenant keeping God you are the covenant keeping God Yahweh
hallelujah i'm hearing in my spirit tormenting spirits this is what god wants to take spirits that torment people whether in dreams or visions whether as afflictions or infirmities i want to declare right now please i want you to bring them out in the name that is above all names i decree and declare anyone here who is a victim of tormenting spirits that torment you day and night medically that torment you spiritually at the count of three let that fire fall right now at the count of three i want you to shout jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the power of the holy spirit be delivered from the influence of tormenting spirits please whether you are an usher or not be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now from the influence of tormenting spirits be free now the power of god is still coming upon people right now the power of god help them please the power of god is still coming upon people be delivered now in the name of jesus christ satan get lost let god's people go now in the name of jesus now i'm about to pray i'm seeing chains on people's feet there are spirits that have kept people in one place so that you don't move as soon as i pray fire will begin to fall on a few people father i decree and declare everyone who has been bound by the spirits of stagnation and delay as you shout jesus be released now are you ready one two three shout jesus be released be released please bring them out i decree and declare i prophesy your liberty from this tormenting spirit help them please every devil of stagnation every spirit tying you down leave now someone open your mouth and declare i'm moving forward go ahead open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of jesus i am making advancement in life and destiny every devil in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead I'm still praying you hear about good things but your hand never handles it you keep hearing that good things are to happen and yet you are never able to take possession I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus anyone who is a victim of this that good things are always around your neighborhood and yet you never take possession of it the power of God is coming upon you right now the spirit that is responsible for a Paris Qatar for those patterns I decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now there is a lady you are from Edo state there is a spirit that has tormented your entire family I will not let you go free right now help her the power of god is coming upon you from Edo state i'm seeing the anointing even coming on people not just one person many people Edo state be delivered now bring them out be delivered now be delivered now the lord is ministering to me there's someone here every time your time of promotion comes 
you have a dream and you will see yourself in a place where you have been before and that will be the end of it i don't know who that is but the anointing is coming upon you please bring them out there's a reason why i ask that you bring them out it's not just for show i decree and declare whoever that person is fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now the lord is showing me a family all the women in that family have similar dreams dreams of retrogression this is from your mother to the sisters the, the ladies right now the power of god is coming on all the ladies who are here in the name of jesus these ladies parikatos ketebata bring them out i break that chain from that family i break that chain from that family i release that family right now 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 please whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing please help to bring them you don't have to wait for the ushers there might be too much for them to do i'm hearing the name jennifer the season where demonic holds over your life is breaking i'm hearing the name jennifer in the name of jesus i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now jennifer i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold what's her name hold on please don't take it easy my dear where are you coming from Blood. look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus! i cast that spirit now be delivered completely in the name of jesus for every other person in the name of jesus this lady holding her stomach something is leaving your stomach i cast that spirit out of her right now in the name of jesus christ release her destiny now in the name of jesus christ my goodness god is setting people free i'm seeing god take things out of people's stomachs like i don't know like growth or whatever i declare anyone having a fibroid or any kind of demonic growth right now fire from heaven is coming upon you that devil dissolves now that devil dissolves now I'm hearing a name Israel Israel and the Lord is speaking to me that this gentleman it is time for God to use you to visit your family this is what God is telling me who is Israel what do you do my friend huh? I'm an architect you are an architect yes, sir. do you believe if I tell you God is going to use you yes, sir. as a deliverer in your family yes, sir. my goodness father in the name of jesus i use him as a point of contact to every israel here what he says to one he says to all by the power that raised christ from the dead i release that grace upon all of you take that grace right now in the name of jesus the lord will use you to set your family free in the name of jesus christ hear me there is someone i want to pray for you don't have to come out but the power of God is visiting people. Do you know that death is a spirit? D-E-B-T. Not death. Death, borrowing. There, there are people who are addicted to it like drugs. It's not that you are bad. This thing is a pattern. You have seen it. God wants to break it in families. I don't know where that family is, but right now. The spirit that has tied people financially walking and living in debt be delivered now be delivered now there is a gentleman here you came from one of the northern states the hand of God is upon your life and he's going to use you mightily I don't know where that gentleman is but the anointing is of the spirit is coming upon him right now you you came from the north your ministry is right there in the name of Jesus Christ. 
God is going to use you like a like like a, a tree that just springs out as though from nowhere is a mighty anointing you will sweep across your city with the fire of revival I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now there are three people up the balcony the power of God is coming upon them the Lord is saying it has come to an end I don't know what it is but that's what I hear it has come to an end it has come to an end I decree and declare wherever you are help them please across the balcony the power of God is touching you it has come to an end in the name of Jesus please don't just pick them and take them back ushers you should know better please let me do my prayer for them there's a reason why I ask them to come please return that lady who is going back please it's not about bringing them out to show a man of God is powerful no please don't just pick them when they think there is a reason why we ask them to come out they don't have to come out but when God instructs then it's important otherwise you will just take them back to their various bondages For all those who are out here in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every spirit that has tormented you right now, for all of you, I declare at the count of three, let them go, release their destinies. One, two, three, go, go, go. Out of them now. Out of them now. Out of their lives now. In the name of Jesus. Everything that has been stolen let there be a restoration let there be a restoration let there be a restoration as i pray for them i pray for you everything that has been stolen in the name of jesus restoration supernatural restoration in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus The Lord is still showing me a family. Your father is a pastor, but there is absolutely nothing that is working in that family. A sincere man of God who loves God, but poverty, failure, shame. This is what has characterized his family. I don't know who that person is. You are a lady in the name of Jesus. Is there someone like that? Please make sure you verify. Let's not just have people coming out carelessly. Your father is a pastor. I want to pray. The devil is a liar. Just put them. They can stand one place anywhere there. I want to pray for them. You see, look at this. You can imagine this kind of demonic mockery. A man who is, who is spending his life serving the Lord. And then the devil will want that nothing works in his life. You see. So it can discourage members. It can discourage people they can say if you are a man of God why are these things not working for you but in the name of Jesus you came here for this miracle service tonight I'm praying for you there are so many of you so I will use you as a point of contact every altar speaking against your family right now I stretch my hands upon all of you who are out here at the count of three that fire will fall upon you one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire Take that fire. I decree and declare. Those altars are set ablaze. I release your parents. I release your loved ones. I release your parents. I release your families. Help them please. Every altar that has stood as a resistance to the growth of your family be destroyed now. I not only pray for them. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every altar that sponsors hatred, that sponsors trouble, that sponsors limitation by the power that raised Christ from the dead, it is destroyed now. You don't have to come out but I want to pray for you 
there is someone here your father has a case with EFCC and if we don't pray for you with what I'm seeing they are going to jail him I don't know who that person is you don't have to come out so that you avoid any embarrassment but in the name of Jesus I don't I'm not a, 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 a government worker I don't know how it works there but for God to have revealed it we declare mercy right now agree with me we declare mercy right now in the name of Jesus who is sitting on what belongs to you in the name of Jesus Christ please receive this prayer I decree and declare anyone fighting the prophecy over your life and sitting where they should not be I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic I overturn them I overturn them I overturn them I overturn them. I overturn them help them please I overturn them in the name of Jesus until you sit upon that which is rightfully yours whether in the office whether in politics i say it again i overturn tonight i overturn tonight i overturn tonight in the name of jesus christ I'm not a banker and I will not I will not say anything that will destroy any bank but there is a particular bank we need to pray for in the name of Jesus I will not mention names but in the name of Jesus we are praying that what the devil is plotting that that bank just goes down overnight may the Lord show mercy in the name of Jesus because with what the Lord is showing me right now, I'm seeing a lot of financial distress. It's still on that tone. They are just trying to walk to see how they can manage it. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying for the sake of the mercy of God and for the sake of those who fear God in that bank, both workers and customers, may God preserve it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Jessica. Jessica who is Jessica Jessica this is what I'm hearing who is Jessica where are you coming from I lost it. come and stand here please where are you coming from I want to pray for you what do you do madam don't be embarrassed not nothing I want to pray for you let me pray for you where is your husband he's outside he lost his job yes when yes. 2017 and from that time he's not gotten a job again when he got he has been managing it he's nothing to write home about from the when he is he here yes because of there's no space he's of course i understand outside. it doesn't matter he doesn't have to come husband wherever you are you are seeing your wife on camera just stand by faith if we say he should come now we may waste time. Do you believe God can visit him? Yes. Madam, what do you do? I'm a businesswoman. I want to pray for you. I believe in miracles, so I truly believe. Hallelujah. Jessica. Your name is not Jessica. Oh. That's my name. Huh? Your brother's wife. You're standing here. Okay. Please don't come out to stand in for anybody. If it's not you, just be patient by faith. Believe wherever you are. Don't worry, I'll pray for you since you're here. Madam, in the name of Jesus, please, why are they here? Are you Jessica? Your name, the name your parents gave you. Okay, so you can stand here. So that we'll save time because we, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Every planting of darkness. I use this once in front as a point of contact. I'm praying for these people, but I'm seeing a lady here.
there is a, a ring that is demonic this is not physical on your hand but this is demonic this thing has closed everything that looks like marital doors the power of god is coming upon you right now help them help them this is what i'm seeing i just saw a ring flashing at me and the lord is saying until that is taken care of it looks like nothing can i'm praying i do, what he says to why are you coming out my dear listen to what i'm saying first okay don't worry my dear look at me just calm down you are not carrying a physical ring huh? just be patient in the name of jesus i decree and declare i'm not saying those who are looking for marital miracles that's not what i'm saying i'm sharing with you a vision understand the vision first before you come out it's not an issue of coming out it's an issue of standing where you are and the power of god touching you in the name of jesus those who are there don't worry let them not be embarrassed just leave them to come once they are already here, just, just let them be. Let them come. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, I pray right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, every demonic thing, any kind of satanic engagement, that anyone here, if there is any strange marriage, aha, that is not of God, any demonic kaparakatos kadiata, every fraternity that has tied you in the Spirit, help that woman. In the name of Jesus, I call upon the Lamb upon the throne. We dissociate that demonic marriage now. We dissociate that demonic marriage now. Please help them, my God. We dissociate that demonic marriage now. Strangers of the night that come to visit you while you sleep, molesting you and spying upon your liberty, right now i stretch my hands anyone here who is a victim of those things be delivered now and for all of the jessicas who god called out here in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that is an embargo over your life and your destiny and your family i hereby release you now I hereby release you now that mockery and that shame over your life I release you now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare for some of you between now and the end of August the way God will visit you and turn things around in your life please believe it I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you What's the one thing holding you back from living the life God has called you to? I bet it's fear. Fear that whispers, you're not enough, you can't do it, you'll fail. But what if I told you, God never intended for you to live in fear? In fact, he has given you everything you need to overcome it. Today, we're going to talk about how to break free from the chains of fear and walk in the boldness that God has already placed inside of you and it all starts with one thing, faith. Let's dive in. Fear is something we all face. It can be paralyzing, overwhelming, and even make us doubt God's promises. But here's what we need to understand. Fear is not from God. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Let that sink in for a moment. Fear is not your identity. Power, love, and a sound mind are. Fear doesn't get the final say in your life. God's power does. I know some of you are watching this right now feeling like fear has gripped every area of your life. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown. But here's the good news. Jesus is greater than your fear. When you feel anxious or afraid, you're not meant to carry that weight alone. In fact, Jesus invites us in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest fear can weigh you down it can make you feel like you're carrying a burden too heavy to bear but God is saying come to me give that fear to me and I'll give you peace when you put your trust in God you start to realize that he's bigger than your fears Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 reminds us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. 
I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is literally promising that you don't have to do it alone. He's holding you up, even when the fear feels overwhelming. What if, instead of focusing on your fears, you started focusing on God's promises? Practical Steps to Overcome Fear So, how do we practically overcome fear in our daily lives? Here are three key steps. Number one, meditate on God's word. The Bible is full of promises that combat fear. One of my favorites is Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Read scriptures like this daily. Remind yourself of God's truth and fear will lose its grip on your heart. Number two, pray boldly. Prayer is not just asking God for things, it's an exchange. When you come to God in prayer, give him your fear and receive his peace. Philippians chapter four verses six to seven tells us, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Number three, take action in faith. Fear tries to freeze you in place, but faith moves you forward. Whatever God is calling you to do, do it despite the fear. That's where real courage comes from. Not the absence of fear, but moving forward through it with the strength of God by your side. In conclusion, listen, I don't know what fears you're facing right now, but I do know this. God has already given you the power to overcome them. You don't have to live in fear anymore. You can live boldly, confidently, and courageously because God is with you. Remember Romans chapter 8, verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? So, don't let fear have the final word in your life. Instead, let faith rise up. Let God's promises lead the way. If this message has touched you, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with someone who needs to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content that will strengthen your walk with Christ. Let's break free from fear together.